Yo, yo, what up, hype man? It's your boy Sports 90 back on the channel again today for you guys with some more of that college football 25. This is the year three of the Stanford dynasty. Uh, last year didn't go too well, so hopefully we, we, we turn it up this year. We're at 93 overall. This is the highest overall I've had so far in this game with the three teams that I played with. But, um, guys, let's get into it. Uh, college football 25. Let's ride. Oh. All right, so we're going in here facing Washington State. We have not seen them yet, so we're going to go in into it, and let's see what we get going. So we ended up winning 28 to 26, but this is what I'm talking about. Like, the simulation stuff really gets me because we are 21 points overall better than Washington State, and we only beat them by two points. That's really what gets on my nerves. But we got Florida this week, so... We're definitely going to play this game. This is probably going to be a really freaking hard game. Welcome to Gainesville, Florida, and the Swamp, where, as they like to say here, only the Gators come out alive. This place is cranked up and ready for a big game today. This is not just a regular matchup. Battle of top 10 teams, two teams colliding early in the season. One team can make a strong statement about the season ahead. As we see the number seven team in the country, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Florida Gators. All right, so we fumbled on the first drive. Um, that was great. Oh, my God. We are so rattled right now. All right, let's – uh, what's Buck doing? Oh, shoot. He can't even hear me. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be – woo-wee. All right. And he'll drop back here on third down. Good catch. Let's go. Good throw. That was a huge momentum uh, shift right there, too. I was clicked on on accident. We're getting schlacked. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. And he's got his man open downfield. Good throw. After being completion on first down, looking to throw it again. Fires it to the wide out. Whoop, got you. Got you. Let's go. Get in that end zone, baby. Let's go. We got more yards than them, but for some reason, we're just not playing well. I think what set the tone is when I missed that field goal. Let's go. That's his second touchdown. Well, that I've thrown to him anyway. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Look at the tight end, son. Let's go. That clock to give him a real shot to come back to win it. Receiver makes the grab. Well, I mean, he's got 400 yards, but what do I have to show for it? Like we're still losing. 42. Read coverage and get the ball out of his hands quickly. And the results have been a monster day. Back to throw again. Looking for his big tight end. Beautiful catch. Race right catch. Down. Pick up positive yards and then get out of bounds. If that defense is going to give it to you, take it every time. Let's go. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown. QB tries it again here on second. Let's go, mama. Let's go. On first and ten, looking to throw. Quarterback on the move, trying to make Yes! Give me that extra 15. Let's go. Give me that extra 15. Let's go. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. All right. So we got to get this first down. For him to go, all he could do is step out of bounds for no gain. Got him. Looks over the middle and that's, that's the first down. No! They didn't count that as a first down? You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. I'm over it. I'm over this game. All right, so we're going to Tennessee. So, hopefully, we don't act. Oh God bless. 
it kills me that we lost that Florida game off of one freaking yard from a it, it was inches from the first down. I, I know it was a first down. But anyway, Tennessee game. Here we go. Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, one of the great venues in all of college football and home to the Tennessee Volunteers. And this crowd knows that when the balls run through the tee, they are in for a show. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on a team who is rested and ready, coming off a bye, the Tennessee Volunteers. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. He comes back to the place where he played as the head coach of the opposition. You know it holds a special place in his heart. And he's right now taking the field, thinking about all the great memories he shared with his teammates. With his good throw, good catch, let's go. During his to pull back those feelings. It's great to be home. It's awesome to be where it started, but you're also paid to do a job, and you're paid by the other side. And right I'll now, take that catch all day. Win. It would have been better if you would have delivered a little bit better, but that was be kind of, kind of chinky. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Oh, good run. Let's go. First down. Let's get it. As fast as you possibly can. A lot of times you don't get to put a good hit on him. And in turn, you see he breaks tackles and make big plays. Now adjusting. He'll pull it down and run. And yeah, I had time for that one. Our line is pretty good, though. Trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. Woo, way to cut up field. Let's go get in that end zone, baby. Let's go. So we had two-minute drill. Receivers telling the quarterback. And, um, yeah, didn't work out too well, but Tennessee drove it down the field. Ooh, I take that all day long, baby. Take that all day long, baby. Let's go. If this works out, we should have open field on the left. From the gun, wants to pass. Like I said, if this works out, we should have open field on the left for a touchdown, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. That's why you got speed at receiver, baby. You can't coach speed. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 38-23 against Tennessee. Let's go. Now, I know they wasn't ranked or anything, but they're still Tennessee. They've been good the last couple years, so they're still really freaking good. So, week six is Vitek. I am jumping into this game, uh, hopefully to win it. So, game for a couple squads that believe they could win it all and we've heard so much in this all that kid right there's got speed i like him he's got speed yeah it's gonna be fun to find out what these teams are about because we've seen both teams <laughs> i'm telling you Silvestro, son i'm telling you and he's got so much confidence in his own that's what i'm talking about keep getting these chunk yards baby off the play fake on first down wants to throw Going over the top. Touchdown, Silvestro. Let's go. Two catches for like 50-something yards and a touchdown in the first drive. Let's go. I just picked the wrong play. <laughs> Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Silvestro again, baby. He gets open to go with the football that's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly and that's why he seems like he's <laughs> that cut oh my god that was nasty let's go all right so we down by four going into halftime with two minute drill let's go let's see what we can do here he'll start this drive firing using the back as a receiver on the screen <laughs> My quarterback is so good, but the thing about it is, is that, like, for some reason, we can't score a lot of points. Uh, he can throw for 7,000 yards, but he cannot throw a lot of freaking touch. And he intercepts it. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands it off. Wow. Okay, I think our defense needs to get better or something, because this is ridiculous. Third down play from the gun. There you go, mama. There you go, mama. Let's go. Probably best tight end in the daggum game right now. Really right, let's punch this in right here. In let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. 
Let's freaking go. 30 to 24 over Virginia Tech. Hopefully, we bring in a lot of commits after this game right here. This is a good game. God, do I want to do I want to sim this game with a bunch of people? No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to sim it. Can he get there on the ground? Yeah, he can, baby. Let's go. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him to third down. They load up the line of score. They bring it. First down. We're gonna throw the football. Look at Buck. Look at Buck. Mama for the touchdown. Let's go, baby. They went down and scored pretty daggum quick. I don't like that at all. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Whoop. Oh, if he wouldn't have been there, that'd have been nice. Easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback, and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. Look at mama, son. Let's go. Just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This what a block on that pool. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Scrambling around. Oh. What a freaking play. What a freaking play. I should have threw that up. That was a good play. He's the one that has to absorb the contact. Oh, break that tackle book. Oh, that's the smoke attack I was looking for. Let's go. Touchdown. Let's get it. On third down, he drops to throw, and he'll lost it to the end zone. We're in a cover three. We're in a cover three. Like, why is it so hard to stay in your zone coverage? Oh, my God. Okay. 55 points. Clemson whooped our tails. Hey, we got a five-star wide receiver, Gregory Shaw from Aurora, Colorado. Welcome to the squad. Let's go. Four-star wide receiver, Trio Tubbs from Trustville, Alabama. There we go. Nigel Whitehair, four-star right in from Oakland, California. Marshall Bramble, four-star wide receiver from Oak from Elk Grove, California. Four-star right tackle, Larry Clemens from La Mesa, California. I don't think, have we seen Louisville? We've not seen Louisville, so we will play this game. In Louisville, Kentucky, they love thoroughbreds who know how to run down the stretch and get to the wire first, and certainly, They've seen plenty of them here. From Johnny Unitas to Lamar Jackson, today the Louisville Cardinals will try to live up to that legacy. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the Stanford Cardinal taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Louisville Cardinal. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis. All right, so we got the first drive of the game. Let's see what we can do with this. Here's the handoff. Got room at the 30. He's supposed to be a power back and he can't truck. 42 yard line. Make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, you're going to be hard to stop. He wants to go deep. That might be a touchdown. That is a touchdown. Let's go. I'm kind of not excited though because we've done lost like three in a row. From the gun. You know what's sad? You know what's sad is that I literally pinched the line and I literally slanted inside. I don't understand the problem. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Throws to the wide Wide open Like I really don't understand the problem. Like what? Like what is the problem with our team right now? Well, we scored, but Let's go. They run better than my running back does. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Buys a little time with his feet. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Finally run out. 
They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Great move there. He rolled game in a hammerlock if they can score. And will cruise into the end zone. Ah, okay. Yeah, let me turn my defense back to multiple defense. I think that might be the problem. There we go. Five star. I think that's two five star wide receivers I've done got. Juan Ford, Oxnard, California. Kurt Silvestro, five receptions, 107 yards, and two touchdowns. I thought he would have been done had it, but I guess not. There we go. Austin Bliss from Chattanooga, Tennessee, four star running back. We got to play Notre Dame because we have not played Notre Dame. So, that being said, before I do this, let me go check and see if it's year three or year four. Let me double check. Year three. Okay, year three, yeah. All right, let's jump into the Notre Dame game. Welcome, everyone, to the house that Rocky built, Notre Dame Stadium, underneath the watchful eye of Touchdown Jesus, the home of the Fighting Irish. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see the number 17 team in the country, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week. The All right, let's jump into third down, see if we can make this conversion here. It from the gun on third down. Dad gum it, man. Come on now, let's make it stop right here. Let's go. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that. Huh. Okay. And once he found open space, These coverages, man, are so awful. Like I was in a cover well, I was in a cover two right there, cover three. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, literally in a cover six. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And we cannot cover anybody. So we have battled back from a deficit, so that's good. So let's see what we can do. I think Silvestro, it. he can't hear me. It's a slant. A slant. Okay, he got it now. All right, we're good. On third down, he drops the throw. Yeah, I just want to go down now, and I just want to get that, that, that first down. And go to work with a first and goal. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. Hey, I'll take that first down all day long. I mean, I didn't want to get my quarterback hit, but I needed to get that first down. Well, the defense just spent a whole lot of energy, too. That was a long play. Get in there, let's go. Get in there, let's go. So we ran away with that one at the end. We was getting whooped, and all of a sudden we got some momentum, and we ended up winning 48-32. I think that's my motor. I think it's my motivator um, coming into play right there. Okay, okay. Demar Charles Jr. left in with two sacks, seven tackles, and four tackles for loss. That has the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um. That could be, I, that wasn't the word I was looking for, but that could be Defensive Player of the Week, National Defensive Player of the Week. It could be. And it is National Defensive Player of the Week. Two sacks, seven tackles, and four tackles for loss. Let's go. He got a huge upgrade boost for that one. There we go. Four-star right guard Jimmy Steven, uh, or Stephen, uh, from Whiting, Indiana. And your 2031 Heisman Trophy winner is Roger Campanero, a senior quarterback from LSU. 39-52 in yards, 44 touchdowns, and five picks. That is a really good season. He he, he could have had 4,000, but the direct. So we did not go to the ACC championship. So, okay, so uh, we've been uh, invited to play the, uh, the, holiday, the Direct TV Holiday Bowl. So now, like I said, we are in the, um, let's see, we're in the Direct TV Holiday Bowl, so let's jump into it. Glad to have you with us from Gloria, San Diego, California, America's finest city, as we get set to see who's going to come out on top in the Holiday Bowl. 
While this game caps off the regular season, how that season is remembered will be impacted greatly by what happens in this game. As we'll see, the number 13 team in the country, the Stanford Cardinal, taking on the 10th ranked team in the land, the Wisconsin Badgers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. All right, so we got 48 seconds to get down the field and score. So let's see if we can do something with it. Wide receiver shows motion. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Looking to the big tight end. There's mama. There's mama. I'm glad I had uh, time right there. That was great. He's going to pass. Dances away. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. Silvestro. Look at him fighting, son. Let's go. That was stupid. That was stupid. Oh, my God. I wouldn't even. Mm. I make some of the dumbest decisions on this game. I swear I do. Way to get that first right there. Let's go. Third down play from the gun. Look at Buck. Look at Buck. Let's go. Let's shove it down their throat right here. Let's freaking go. Shove it down their throat. Let's go. And we win the Holiday Bowl, 27-14. So that should give me extra experience, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. We are the DirecTV Holiday Bowl winners. Yeah, I think after the coach and carry sale, I don't think they can go anymore. There we go. Four-star right tackle, Amari Ramsey from Glasgow, Kentucky. If that, well, the thing about it is, the thing about it is, um, is that I got a lot of freaking offensive linemen. Uh, hey, I don't even know. Oh, was that that Jim? Seth Kowiatowski? Kowiatowski? From Los Alamitos, California. There we go, Ezekiel Uwazuga Zuga Buka 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 uh, from Indianapolis, Indiana. There we go, Garrison Small. If they're a three-star, they're a gym. So Garrison Small from a, a Popka, Florida. Yes, let's go. Leon Sandlin, three-star corner from Corona, California. Yes, let's go. Three-star tight end Joe Stocks from Maxine, Wisconsin. The thing about it is, is that I've got plenty of tight ends. But I could possibly move one of the tight ends over to fullback. Just like, I don't know. Maybe my fullback's not good. I don't know. Four-star left outside linebacker Emmanuel Tavares from Hesperia, California. So that was three of the five. All right, so that's going to be all for year number three for Stanford. We got two more years left to make them national champions. Uh, I'm still a little bit upset from, uh, who was it, Ball State that I could not win a national championship with. Uh, but the more and more I play, the more and more I get uh, comfortable with doing like the recruiting and stuff like that. And the more and more I figure out how the coaches um, trees look, the skill trees and stuff, and how they feel. So um, we're just going to keep on grinding and keep on getting better and keep on doing this daggum thing. But guys, love y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all for this channel. I'm about to get off before I do. Y'all stay safe. Don't do nothing stupid. Follow me on all my social media platforms. That includes Facebook, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, all that good jazz, all Swirl 1090, same name for every one of them, except for TikTok, TikTok is Swirl 1590, subscribe to me on YouTube, and always keep God first, Purr.